Yeah, somebody's regretting how they treated you. They're regretting focusing on the wrong thing. They're regretting that they focused on the wrong thing at the wrong time and maybe treating you like you didn't matter. You did matter. They were just too... Um, they were grieving. They were grieving their past, okay? Something about you let them know, let, made them realize that they had to grieve their past. Meeting you, Virgo, okay, made someone else realize that they had to purge their own past, okay? They made them realize that they still had cobwebs that they need to get out of their, uh, their skeletons they had to get out of their closet before they could move forward, okay? But they're ready to move forward now. What's up Virgo, Vanessa Moon here. Thank you for visiting my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. This will be a reading for the sign of Virgo. Wherever Virgo is in your chart does not matter, okay? And uh, if you are just visiting my channel, please have a look-see at the last live I did. How do they feel about you? You can check out all the signs there. Okay, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. I always tell everyone, um, doesn't matter if you're a Virgo sun, moon, or rising. I'm a Virgo moon, yay. I love my Virgos. Um, but yeah, this can be for wherever Virgo is in your chart. So like say, you know, your romance house is your fifth house. Now you can check out your dating life there. If like Virgo is your fifth house. If Virgo is your seventh house, it'll tell you about your marriage partner. If you know, you're looking at your soulmate or twin flame, then your Virgo house um, would be your third house then. Okay, but it can be anywhere in your chart. It doesn't matter. All right, so just don't just look for your birthday. Okay, try to get your birth chart and see what your other signs are, and where they where those houses fall, and watch those signs. Okay, all right, that's my spiel. Let's see whatever message comes out for Virgo. Let's see, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. All right, so you got the three of pentacles and the nine of swords. Okay, so you're worried. You're worried about if something is going to work out. If somebody's going to build with you, are they going to cooperate? <laughs> are they going to cooperate? You can't stop thinking about them because they can't stop thinking about you. That's why. Because you got the nine of pen nine of swords, the nine of swords, and then you got the three of pentacles. So both of you are thinking the same thing at the same time. That's what it says. Are they going to cooperate? However, one is thinking, when I communicate, are they going to cooperate? And the other is thinking, are they ever going to cooperate and communicate? That's what I'm getting. All right? Yep. See? Divine timing is going to bring communication. How you like my skills? Uh -huh. See? Communication is the ace of swords. The ace of communication. The ace, the sword of truth. Okay? A new beginning in what? Communication. Somebody wants to speak their truth. And it's coming into divine, divine timing with serendipity. Okay? That means it's on the way. Somebody's already made the plan. So, what do we have? Good news. Somebody wants to talk. Page of Wands. All right? Page of Wands represents um, a phone call, a message. All right? Pop-up. Surprise message. Pop-up phone call where somebody has creative energy, a new vision. So it's going to be some new energy, exciting new energy, or with a cr exciting new idea, like a creative idea, like, let's go here, let's go there, let's do this. Or, hey, I want to talk about this. You know, I want to talk about something I haven't told you before. Like that kind of thing, all right? Um, so they bring you fire energy. They're bringing you exciting new energy. So somebody wants to talk, all right? So they want to build with you. That's what they want to do. And they want to know, they're, they're stressing right now. That's probably what you're feeling. So you could be feeling this person, all right? They're stressing right now because they're like, oh, is this going to work? Do they want to do this? Are they going to, uh, I hope they're, but they're also excited, all right? Okay, Virgo, they're excited. Yeah, somebody's regretting how they treated you. They're regretting focusing on the wrong thing. They're regretting that they focused on the wrong thing at the wrong time and maybe treating you like you didn't matter. You did matter. They were just too... Um, they were grieving. They were grieving their past, okay? Something about you let them know, let, made them realize that they had to grieve their past. Meeting you, Virgo, okay? made someone else realize that they had to purge their own past, okay? They made them realize that they still had cobwebs that they need to get out of their, uh, their skeletons they had to get out of their closet before they could move forward, okay? But they're ready to move forward now. Queen of Swords, okay? Scorpio got this in their reading. Um, so Gemini Aquarius here, Aries Leo Sag here. 
Um, so somebody feels like you might be mad at them. They're hopefully they feel like you're not jaded or you're not you're going to give them a chance to hear them out. So they want to speak clear, direct truth with you. They're hoping that you will receive the truth and that you'll be able to tell they're telling the truth. They're hoping that you won't be too mean or you won't be too harsh with them. Um, they feel like you cut them out. You're jaded. You're mad. But they like that you're smart. And they're hoping that you'll listen. Okay? They feel you're smart, though. Yeah, they're hoping that you'll give them another chance. You're not too busy for them. They're hoping that nothing's changed too much. So this could be somebody you haven't spoken to in a while. So you have a pop-up surprise message. Ooh, somebody feels like the challenge is you might be in a relationship now. Um, because yeah, I'm getting that they're hopefully like they're hoping that you're not juggling them. Yeah, there's definitely wanting someone wanting reconciliation. Here could be a Sagittarius. Um, but they could just mean they're thinking they're trying to like play cool right now. Um, they could have got they you might even get um there's a chance here you might get a drunk drunk text, Virgo. Because this person doesn't have a lot of confidence, they're real scared. All right. They think they stay up late thinking about this a lot. They've could have written a lot of messages and thrown them out. All right. Um but there's also the problem that they feel like if you've moved on, um, their dead just would just kill their vision of their hopes of dreams of the future that they've already made. This person's very nervous because um, they really want a relationship with you. They, they see you as their like end all be all type of personality. OK, they see you as the one. Yeah, they have a huge crush on you. They, they definitely might even want to have a child with you one day if they don't have one already. Um, there's something about about their inner child that needed a lot of healing, though. So they're very excited about you like a child. Like, you make them feel giddy like a child. Like, they haven't felt like this in a long time, okay? So they have to temper themselves around you. Like, they got to calm themselves down a lot. Yeah, that's probably why they drink. This person definitely be drinking. And, well, if they don't drink, they definitely feel like they, they should. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, oh, this card, those cards flew. Yeah, two of cups. Yeah, Virgo. Yeah, they definitely want a relationship. They feel like you're their soulmate. They feel like they're in love with you. They feel like you're in love with them. They feel like y'all mirror. Y'all have a lot in common. They feel like you all share a lot of commonalities, or you see them for who they really are. Y'all see eye to eye, um, and they feel like they y'all have telepathy, and y'all can like feel each other from miles away. Um, they also feel like they felt like. The feeling of feeling you in distress, they didn't like it. And they feel like they hate that they put you through that. But they also feel like that's why they want to collaborate with you, collaborate with you and build something new with you. Um, but I also feel like there's somebody around you and they don't like that at all. They don't like it at all. So if, if you guys have been finding someone new, you need to keep doing it because that's what's making this person reevaluate. Okay. And it's what's making this person really reevaluate the path they've taken themselves. And they're making them go, why do I do the things I do? Like, why do I create these patterns that I've created for myself where I'm always waiting for something to happen and not getting up and doing something for myself and making things happen faster? So keep doing what you're doing, Virgo, because it's making it it's making this person become more ruthless and e evaluate why they kind of play egoic mind games like, you know, like this one right here and 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 basically um play with people's feelings um and it's basically to protect their own ego um because they think they're going to get hurt and, and they act like a tough person when really um they should be vulnerable when it comes to love okay they should express their emotions so it, they're starting to to beat themselves up okay about losing you about potentially losing you even more and it's making them do some necessary healing and it's making you guys actually it's making them want to reconcile with you and you know um speak up okay so just saying um keep keep doing what you're doing over there it's working yeah so somebody's saying they're not going to give up on this connection they're paranoid though but there's a sense of urgency now that they need to fly in and do something about it because they feel like, again, like you might getting, be getting attention from other people. They have you on a bit of a pedestal here. Um, they feel like you're moving on with your life, um, but they also feel like you're very popular. Um, you feel like you're feeling, they're feeling some type of achievement by knowing you. Like they're realizing that you sit on some type of glory. Like they're learning from you. They're inspired from you. Um, they feel like they're you're some you're somewhat of a trophy or somewhat of an um a catch like they can't believe like they they fumbled the bag like what have i done like 
So now there's something like I got to get you, like almost like a heroic sense of pride. Um, and they almost want to slay the competition. Like they really feel like, okay, wait, I got to go get my Virgo. Like somebody else is going to get my Virgo. Like almost like they could feel you standing there waiting for them. And now you're not. And now they see that you're moving on. They're going to come run after you. You know that old story, but it works, eh? Yeah, so these both of these are victory. One's victory at all costs, and one's like a championship, like one fair and square. So it's kind of like, nah, nah, nah. Nobody's going to have my Virgo but me. Like, they, this is like their battle. They're, they're, this is like, I'm going to come fight to the death, because this is kind of like battle-worn, and this is like combat. So it's like, no, I'm going to fight to the death. So if somebody wants to come, like, really fight for you, Virgo, yeah, because you're the star. Like, whoa, yeah, Aquarius energy here. Yeah, you're the star. Mm -hmm. yeah you are their dream come true like they feel like it's a miracle of faded so this is a faded event virgo so this is probably to teach you patience because you have the the temperance here to teach you to temper yourself and to temper your anxiety this person will teach you patience teach you how to be the star it heals you so healed something in you teach you how to cleanse your energy um and teach you how to bask in the glory of your own um self self-worth and love yourself a lot and just attract in all your goals your wishes your hopes and trust the guidance and how to listen and how to heal and meditate and be at peace with oneself and enjoy your own aura okay and while you do that just attract in all of your abundance right and be be at peace with oneself and enjoy stillness and while that happens this person is like shaking in their boots and they will come right to you. You draw them in because that's what this is teaching you. Because right here, this is somebody that's not at comfortable at being with peace. And they're learning how to do it. Um, so it's like you learned how to do that. And it's it's literally bringing this person like to, I mean, almost like run to you. Okay. Yeah. This person could have Aquarius in their chart. Yeah, because it's making them feel left out of you. Like it's making them feel like they want, like now they want charity. Like they want to. They want you. It's almost like these are the beggars, and now the beggars have the charity from the the uh, um the the wealthy person. See, it's like they need your wealth. You know, um, you took back the scale. You you balance the scales. See, you took back your energy. Very good. Yeah, you don't see this coming, but you're about to get a lot of communication. So this is about, this is definitely lovers in separation. Or someone you're in separate. It doesn't even have to be a lover, but some, I mean, it's definitely a lover. But somebody that is in love with you that really wants to talk to you, it's definitely someone you're counterpart with because you got a match here. They're just at a distance. They could be at a distance if they're coming on on a night, okay? But there's some truth coming towards you. So let's see, what do they want to say to you? Definitely they want to tell you they love you. They're in love with you, that's for sure. They tell you when they want to tell you they want to build with you. I know see that here. They might want to tell you they want to take a trip or do something fun with you. And they also might want to tell you that they want to show you off in front of people, or introduce you to people. They might want to tell you they want to build a family with you. Specifically, maybe two children. Okay. But let's see specifically what else they want to tell Virgo. What do they want to tell Virgo? That um they're sorry, they they weren't loyal to you. Um, they want to take care of you, protect you, provide for you, okay? Let's see. They're going to be brave now and have courage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They want to have something long-term with you. They want to, um, like I said, have a long-term stable relationship. They want to grow with you, possibly marry you, plant seeds with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all in divine timing, okay? They feel fortunate. They feel lucky to have you. And they want to tell you they had a lot of responsibility, a lot of burdens, a lot of baggage that they needed to drop, okay? And they felt overwhelmed and they had a lot of pressure, all right, from their past, but that they really missed you and they couldn't stop dreaming about you and they had a lot of sweet memories and they feel like you're their best friend or, or they just feel like they just you're their home person. They could build a home with you. They want to build a home with you. Oh, that's beautiful. And you changed them in some way. Yep, and they, they had dreamed about you a lot and fantasized about you a whole lot. That's really nice. Yep. And they want to make it right. They want to balance things out with you. And possibly, like I said, this is a contract. So they probably want to marry you. Make it legal. Hey, I know you're super hot. And of course, they lust after you like crazy. Crazy. Oh, Virgo. They miss that. They miss that loving, loving. And they stalk you. Okay. This person stalks you. If you got social media, they stalk you. Fake profile. Okay, fake profile right there. Seven of Swords, Page of Swords. Oh yeah, they definitely, 
definitely, definitely stalk you in there on a social media and in their mind, okay? You know what I mean? In the mind. And it comes with a surprise at the end of the night. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, that's how they feel about you, Virgo. They, um, they definitely want to take you somewhere and get some healing, if you know what I mean. Got the page of wands is the idea, and then they all whisk away. Okay? Yeah. So, definitely a true pair. Definitely a true pair. What advice do we have for Virgo? Listen to your intuition when this happens. Okay? Number 20, judgment. So, yeah, you're going to have to make a huge decision. You're going to feel the pressure. You're going to feel called. Okay, you called this one in, though. But here they are. You did it. Mm-hmm, you did it. Oh, let's see who that is. And relieve your anxiety. Yeah, that's what you had to do. All you had to do was relieve your anxiety, and that's what happened. All right? You can go ahead and, and then awaken your vulnerability. So yeah, number 26 here. So things are changing. So you can choose to have, you can choose love. So love, number eight. So everything's about to change. It adds up to eight transformation. But two, so making good decisions in love. Six, okay? Choose love. This could be real love. And number three, awaken your vulnerability. You're protected by the ancestors. They're going to help you get put to, they're going to help put you back together, Virgo. Don't worry. You can be vulnerable with this person, okay? All right. That's beautiful. Talk soon, guys. Bye.